Welcome to Cat the Minion YouTube channel. My name is Teresa, but you can call me Cat. I'm doing a little like glare on here with my glasses right now. I'm doing card of the day. I'm using the Legacy of the Divine Tarot. And um, I did already shuffle them, so let's go ahead and get a card. I look extremely sad right now, and I, I don't know how to stop making this face. <laughs> Just have to deal with it, I guess. Okay, apparently I'm just shuffling them more. It's actually a really good, really nice deck to shuffle. I don't want like a million goddamn cards. I shuffle it for like 15 minutes and then when I go to get a card I have like four or five of them drop out. It's kind of ridiculous. Card of the day. Let's get some energy for the people. Something that's really going to help them move through some. I'm going to have to do better than that. So some energy for the people, something to help them move through something, make their day better today. Some insight or a synchronistic message for the people for today. Oh, it's 808. King of Swords inverted. Mm -hmm. Now I could rattle off what this would normally mean. But I don't think I'm supposed to. I'm getting a little bit of energy of like you can't handle the truth. Batman. So Bruce Wayne versus Batman. So we have a duality. What is what is the presentation, right? People understand what Bruce Wayne is like in the public, but they don't know how he is in his personal life. Whereas the other aspect of him, Batman, there's also a public image, but people also don't know the truth of Batman. But the what's really true is that there's a unity between Bruce Wayne and Batman in that they're the same person and they have basically the same private life. But nobody really knows what it is. Alfred maybe knows, but Alfred's a homebody. It's like... It's not... There isn't a difference of like who which one you're gonna be like you don't have to choose sides necessarily but this there's this idea of do you fully understand your own internal identity it's like are you afraid of your own dark
But with this king upright, he looks kind of like the Archangel Michael. The sword and the wings and the intense presence. We, what's coming here, it's sort of like... I, it's not, I'm not getting this energy of like... Dictator authoritarianism, lies and deceit and all that. I'm getting this idea of like the you are the one who puts out into the world what your vision of who you are is. But if you're not sure who you are, like how accurate? Are you naughty and nice? Are you um, sort of soft and sweet? Or are you like more kick-ass? Are they these sort of aspects of your personality? Or do or do you come off as bipolar? Or do some people only know you a certain way and other people think you're just kind of a douche? You know, like, are you warm and welcoming in a certain environment? And are you sort of malicious in another environment? But the reality of you is more tempered than that. So let me get the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we have the nine of coins inverted. If every day is a sunny day, then what's a sunny day? Right, this is like the dark night of the soul. And I feel like this is kind of like the new moon. Or the half moon. Which would be in like a week. Like five days. I'm just trying to think about these for a minute. Okay, so 5 and 9 is still 14. 1 and 9 is 10. That's 4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really sort of the idea of the dark and the light, the masculine and the feminine. Again, I really don't want to get into like the basic concepts of the cards because I think it's going to obscure the message this time. There's something important about a series of nines, like the number nine repeating. Now what's interesting is that if you're doing a calculator, one ninth is point one repeating forever. Two ninths, two repeating forever. You know, and it goes the same three ninths, three repeating. All the way up eight ninths, point eight repeating forever. So nine ninths is point nine repeating forever, but nine ninths is one. And there's this kind of hysterical discrepancy of, you know, one kajillionth of a, of whatever decimal that isn't quite the whole thing. And it's, it's like, you, 
you could be in that energy forever where there's always something missing. There's always that, you know, little tiny chip off of the 0.9 repeating decimal where you'll feel like you're, you'll never be whole and you'll never be able to flip these cards the other way. But it's like the, the truth is in there. there. There's... If you look at the numbers in a completely different way, five-fifths is one, two-halves is one, seven-sevenths is one, eight-eighths is one, and nine-ninths should, in terms of basic math, be one. It's, so it's like almost like it's like Batman is basically two halves, right? But there's always something missing. So why is he operating as if there's he has like nine personalities that never um, integrate? And it's like the, it's almost like the moon is sort of giving you the secrets to the math. That's like when the moon goes into that half phase where it's halfway between full and new, there's an equal amount of illumination and an equal amount of darkness so that you can see that it's almost like both systems are are valid and neither is some sort of ultimate truth that has to define you. It, it's like even if you're in your own truth a hundred percent, someone in a different perspective could still not understand you. So it's like the only way to to integrate different parts of you as you come out of the dark night of the soul is to uh, sort of let uh, like let yourself uh, be both dark and light and let yourself be the point nine repeating and the one uh, I know this is a little bit strange, but I'm going to leave it there. And it'll either click or it won't. And if it doesn't, then there'll be another card of the day, either tomorrow or the next day. So um, I would encourage you to purchase a personal reading. You can email me, the cat came back at camp at gmail.com. Oh, I can't. I was like, I can't tell if that's focus. It's because I don't have my glasses on. And there's a hair stuck in the thing. Okay, there we go. Now I can see that. So you can email me. The cat came back at camp at gmail.com if you want to get a reading. The complete list of readings and how much they cost is in the description box of my infomercial video, which is linked below this one. It's like a guide and tutorial of what I've got and how to find it. Um, I would encourage you to like, share, and subscribe, and or comment. If you found this helpful, I would encourage you also to go ahead and hit that tip jar, paypal.me slash catthominion. I also have Cash App and Venmo. I do have actual art items for sale in my catalog. I've got prints and merch, a lot of which are psychedelic and or fashion. I have some coloring, a couple of coloring books if you want to chillax. I think that's it, so stay groovy and we'll see you later, bye.